Hey guys, welcome to the Django REST framework tutorial series. In this video, I am going to discuss about view sets. What are the view sets? What is the use of the view sets? We are going to explore it now. So from the first few sessions, we are looking into the different types of the views like generic views. Of course, those are nothing but class based views. And also we looked into the mix ins. Now today we are going to talk about on the view sets. Okay, so let's see this. What is a view set? How we are going to use it? The view set is basically like combine the logic for a set of related views in the single class basically. Instead of writing the multiple views uh, in the API, so we are going to use only one single class and we can club all the views into the one class itself. And one more important thing here, view sets does not provide any method handlers such as like uh, dot get and dot post. So what view sets provides? View sets provides actions such as dot list and dot create dot delete dot partial update like that those methods will be there and we'll see in the next slide we'll get more idea about it. So let's look into the types of view sets. So there are different types of the view sets are there. For example, you look at that in the previous sessions we discussed about the API view which is a super class for both view sets and as well as the generic API view. Right. So and generic API view is also having some subclasses like model view set. The another one is the generic view set and one more is the read only model view set. So the first one here when it comes to the model view set, as I said earlier in the previous slide, there is only actions are there under the view sets. So there is no method handlers here. So only the actions. So even generic view sets has the methods. So like we have here get object, get query set. And also like read only model view set which contains the list and retrieve so so when it depends on you like what kind of requirement you are dealing with this if you want only read only model view sets only read only access you are providing to the end user only list and retrieve methods can be used so those are nothing but actions okay but model view set it contains everything like okay list to create you can update the data destroy the data retrieve the data whole thing right so the point is very clear here right so if i see this this is one view set and uh, these are the another three view sets remember this basically this view set doesn't have the much things to discuss mostly we use the model view set generic view set and read only model view set so in this i'm going to show you the demo also on this model view set how to use of course we are actually uh, discussing from fast few days about the mobile commerce uh, website so coming to the next one there is also one decorator is there it's called add action detail is equal to true or detail is equal to false methods is equal to post and get that uh, get so we'll we are going to see that how we are going to use it in our uh, project okay so let's do the coding now so this is our project so we are actually uh, going through the from fast uh, few sessions and uh, m commerce in m commerce we have the product in the products we have the model serializers and everything the model is nothing but a product here this product uh, having the columns like uh, category name the product id cost date descriptions already we have some data and we have the serializer here so we are using the serializer start model serializers and of course in the previous sessions we discussed about various uh, views like uh, what I can say that uh, normal function based views and class based views and the class based views we use the API view extension and also like uh, we also deal with the mixins and the generic uh, uh, API view so all we already gone through the previous sessions right so in this session what I'm going to talk about that the view sets so I'm going to create a view sets to create a view sets I'm going to give the name here the product view set so let me give you and uh, inside that we have to give the name called view sets dot and model view sets so to do this activity so which we, we can easily go through the and import that view set here so from and rest framework and import okay so we can use the view sets right this view set so what i will do right i will extend the class basically this is nothing but inheritance here we are using the view sets dot 
and what is the name of uh, the view set which we are going to deal with here the model view set because uh, as we know that we are actually dealing with uh, uh, data from the database if you see the model this is a model basically the product is the model so that data only we are dealing with here so when you are going to deal with uh, the like database uh, uh, are like the model so we are going to use the same code the query set is equal to the product dot objects dot all and serializer class is equal to product serializer so this is the same thing so whether you use the generic views uh, or whether you use the like uh, uh, what i can say that mixins everywhere like the query set and serializer class so actually we use like even mixins and generics even in the view set also we use the same thing only okay so we are done with the view set it's very simple and one more important thing is you, you don't need to worry about get post and uh, or something like delete put and these are the commands you don't need to worry about view sets are very simplest form uh, where we can write multiple uh, function I mean, multiple the view actions here basically so what i'm going to do right i want to call these view sets so to call these view sets we are going to use the routers which is a very interesting topic uh, and in next session i'm going to talk about in detail of what are the types of routers and everything but in this session i'm going to use the router so first let me import the uh, whatever the views that we created from the views so it's very simple dot views i'm just writing again here already we we are using it but i don't want to use it directly so let me go and use it just show you that uh, how to get it like okay so name is the like uh, products view set right so product view set see we can also add this one to here as well we don't need to go and write all the all the things basically right okay fine so what is the next thing is i want to uh, import the default router as i said like we are not going to use the direct patterns here so the view sets uh, so we are going to use some routers there are different types of the routers are the default router simple router and all we'll see the differences later the first thing is how to add the router here so routers are basically there in the rest framework so we have we are going to use the rest framework so one small tip i am going to tell you here anything which you want to do with the rest framework so we can see here the mixins generics view sets routers uh, anything like all these things are there in the direct module that's called rest framework right so same thing which i am also going to do it here so rest framework dot and if you want to use the routers routers and import what is the name of that so i'm going to use the default router and later we also going to explore the simple router and we'll see that so first since it is a class what i'm going to do right i'm going to create an object for this this is a constructor i am invoking so i'm creating an object so object name i am just giving your router just for understanding purpose this router what will happen right we are going to register the urls okay so one time effort only so right now we have only product okay product to uh, uh, view set maybe tomorrow order view set will be there different different view sets will be there so we are going to register all the view sets in this router dot register so one time only we are going to create an object here so what i'm going to do right i'm going to add line of code here So I just added the line of code. So we can see here, this is the nothing but a path and this is uh, the view set name. This is a base name, okay? So base name plus you are uh, actually the uh, path name will come. So anyway, I will show you that we'll get an idea. So once you're done with this, if I'm going to execute this code, it won't work because for example, let me show you. If I go here, if I enter, we don't see, even if we go to the products, okay? And we don't, uh, see anything here right if i go and enter so in this case what we are going to do right we need to add uh, uh, this router urls to the uh, this the entire urls patterns so how we are going to do it that's a question right it's a very simple you just go to the below and add the plus and anyway it is the routers 
this router contains all the urls we are going to add like this so server will get uh, started and we'll go to the now the browser and you just enter here when you enter you see that the whole uh, the view set concept so product view set this is the name we are given so if you want to verify it just go to the visible studio code and you see that there is a product view set which i am using same thing which is there you see that view set and go to this and there is a product view set and this is the name if i go and click on this even url also will get changed of course so product is the main urls under that url we have the product view sets are you confused right let me show you so if you go to the main urls in this main urls we have the api authentication and products in this products only we are actually doing all these things right all these urls we added so in that products urls we are using the product view set so the same thing which we are seeing it here the products and product view set all the products are there here right so we have the post method we have options and everything so you may ask the question where is the like delete and other things right it's very simple so if you want to see the delete and all you have to go to the specific the like uh, the id so if i'm going to enter you can see that specific product information there is a delete and also there is an update put method so easily we can see that the basic idea of the view sheets is like uh, uh, simply we can do all uh, cloud operations like delete put post and everything you don't need to write any extra methods and everything so like this is a model view set which i am talking going forward we'll see the different uh, read only view sets also see that's that's very simple for example okay let me show you that uh, uh, read only model view set here only if you go to the view here okay so i'm just scrolling down here and instead of uh, uh, here the model view set you just give you only read only model view set and you don't need to do anything here you just change this one now you can go to the uh, your browser and you type this one and do you see that delete button here no right we are not seeing any delete button any so this is just only retrieval and list list the information so that is the difference between the read only view set and view set model view set model view set which has the capable of doing all the kind of CRUD operations and uh, the one which you are seeing here the read only model view set it's only for the retrieval purpose and are like showing the data displaying the data that's it we don't need to do it simple simple line of code we can do it this we don't need to do it so many magics here right so hope you understand uh, this concepts so, okay in the next tutorial i will talk about uh, differences between the routers and also i will show you the complete uh, uh, in depth of concepts you will get more idea about it okay so don't worry guys i'm going to take you to the very uh, in depth concepts going forward uh, because I want, I'm giving just overview of all the concepts in the Django REST framework so far. You'll get more into the idea. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please write your questions in the comment box. Definitely, I will help you. Thank you.